I gotta get out of this town, man. <coughs> what? I mean, every day is the same thing. We show up, we toss dough, we cook some pizzas, then we fuck off to some random ass parking lot, get drunk and pass out. You love the parking lots! No, guy, you love the parking lots. Yes, yes I do! There's nothing better than a cold 40 ounce and watching those two homeless guys fight over scraps. I will never understand your love for baby and violence. Break's over, boys. Let's go. I mean, really, day in, day out, cooking pizzas, is that really what you want to do? Suits my current trajectory. What is that? Dead by 27. Jesus, man. I mean, really, what do you want to do? You can't just set up a pizza shop and eat pizza till the day we die. Okay, clearly this isn't about my personal aspirations. What's this really about? I want to go back to school, guy. School? What do you need school for? You trying to be the fucking president? Look, you got everything you need right here. Three blocks south is the dispensary, five blocks north is the liquor store, and you can't forget about the pissing tree. You leave the pissing tree out of this. Look, all I'm trying to say is that you don't need school to have a fulfilling life, Chris. Take my Uncle Judd, for example. <laughs> he barely graduated middle school. He's a successful businessman now. Judd sells mushrooms out of a trailer park and scams disability from the state government. And he's killing it. Have you seen the Mustang he drives? It's a 2004, man. All the paint matches? Rare for a car that age to have matching paint, okay? No, it's not. Look, not to just judge or anything like that, but I don't want a 2004 Mustang, okay? I want a job, I want a family, I want my future children grow. I just want to get out of this town, man. I don't want to spend the rest of my life watching these two better scraps. Hey, man. Don't blame us for the poor socioeconomic standing of a fucking working class. It ain't our fault you're not happy. Fucker. Hey, good job, man. There goes our entertainment for tonight. Fine. What type of job do you want? I don't know, man. I just want to do something. Something that helps, you know, people. I'll be a nurse or something. I don't know. You're gonna be a fucking male nurse? What is this, some sort of sick joke? No, Jesus. Why can't you just say something to make me feel better? I literally poured out my heart into you about how I feel directionless in life, and you insult me. I mean, we hang out every single day. Why can't you just ever say something to make me feel like I'm more worth than a pack of cigs and a couch to sleep on? Hey, idiot, there's nothing to do. I know, there's nothing to do except what we already do, okay? At least I'm not sitting around complaining and daydreaming all day about some fucking white picket fence I'll never get. You're not some revolutionary, okay? You're a bum, just like the rest of the people in this town. You and me both. What? Screw you. Hey, screw you. Hey man, I, I'm really sorry. I thought... Fine. We'll say it from out here. I'm sorry, Chris. I shouldn't have put my own issues onto you. That was really messed up. I'm sorry. You're my best friend, dude. And when you said you wanted to leave, I got really scared and lashed out. I feel just as lost as you do, and without you here, I don't know what I would do. Well, don't make it awkward. See? You made it awkward. 
You're an asshole, you know that? Uh, I knew it was your day off, just so I decided to call in sick. Games? Yeah, thanks. Yeah, man. Hey, so I was looking at apartments around the college, and there's a two bedroom one with the dominoes down the block. Are you asking me what I think you're asking me? I mean, honestly, why not? You're on my couch 24-7. Might as well get you your own room. Sounds good to me.